Konnichiwa everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Shadow Warrior Wanton Destruction on No Pain No Gain. This is the second and final secret level of the expansion, level 12, The Docks. Alright, second secret level of two. The Docks. And aesthetically, definitely not as much of a looker as Redwood Forest. It's also nowhere near as annoying to navigate through, which is always a plus. But the ultimate goal is to fix that boat, that very square boat, the Yangtze Kiang, I guess. And, one second. Grab that silver master key over there on that little, uh, I guess that's supposed to be a pier post, but it's torn in half. And go all the way to the silver master key door, way up there. Which leads to the exit. But, we've got some enemies to plow through before we do that. And before we start doing that very thing, let's go ahead and get secret number one. For an Uzi mag and a flash bomb. And then right inside here, along with two shadow mercs, or uh, <laughs> two brown mercs, excuse me, is secret number two, which you have to look very closely for this one. See this very slightly misaligned texture on the crates? Bam. A door. For a gas bomb. Alright, and that is the last secret for a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't bother trying to machine gun that guy. Just blow up the crack in the wall behind him to blow him up too. And that coolie always wants to try to blow me up. Like whenever I get close to the door, he's always there with me. Oh, come on, you scaredy ghost. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. That's where you're going. Alright, so we need to turn the lights on, for one thing. Grab the red master key here. Got an Uzi mag and a portable med kit, which we don't really need. Flip this switch. Use the red key to go inside this door here. And we've got a trio of mercs waiting for us. And then in here, we must flip uh, that switch over there. And you know, I'm still not even fully sure what this switch does. All I know is it's a switch, so I want to flip it. Because where we have to go next is actually not in the direction that door opening sound came from. It is actually... Almost forgot about him. Just past that crack in the wall. And to get past the crack in the wall... We're going to use a vehicle that, of course, has a laser mounted on it, because why not? Build engine, am I right? Go ahead and leap through here and take out the female ninjas. Alright, you know what? I'm not playing target practice with you. Uh, that door is locked via the bronze master key, which we don't have, so we have to wait to open that. And I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox here. We're going to equip the nuke and fire it. And the main reason I do that... Now it's smoke bomb time. Is twofold. One, there's at least one or two stationary nin uh, mercs, I keep wanting to say ninjas, on board that ship over there. And trying to deal with them from all the way over there while they're just peppering you with bullets the whole time, sucks. Reason number two is that shadow merc, which was killed in my practice run, actually. And reason number three, there is a very nasty grenade trap also on this boat. Now, fortunately, and you've probably noticed by now, that this expansion does not get anywhere nearly as egregious with those traps like Twin Dragon did, which is definitely a plus. Definitely a plus. So, yeah, it was only, what, four or five kills with the nuke? But considering the circumstances, I am perfectly fine with that. So... Let's go inside the... Well, actually, we're in the marketplace. Let's go through this set of doors here, which takes us to the area that contains the Bronze Master Key. And of course, it will be guarded. There's a fair number of bad guys around here. And this is the door that takes you back into that little indoor marina where all those boats are docked. Go ahead and get our smoke bomb back. And so, this area here, 
So there's two sets of doors on the left side and the right side. The doors on the right side take you to the bronze master key. The doors on the left side take you to a missile launcher. Now, the first door, not these, you can open by yourself, but the second ones require you to shoot a button. Now, the doors are timed, but you can just press the button on the inside if you get trapped inside, so... Not really a problem. I think I actually had a fair bit of trouble with this my first time playing. I was like, why can't I figure this out? And then I figured it out, and I felt incredibly stupid for not being able to figure it out earlier. Anyway, we finally got the Bronze Master Key, and secret number three... We must, uh, weigh ourselves on this scale right here. Lo Wang is the catch of the day. Ancient Chinese secret. And you get rewarded with a fortune cookie, some dead killer koi, some red and blue koi, and some shurikens. Alright, now to go actually inside the other bronze master key door. Into the the master bait shop. <laughs> Happy now? Get your hands on our rods. <laughs> oh, 90s, I miss you. Actually, no, this was the mid-2000s, hell. Still has that 90s feel all over it, though. Anyway. Let us go inside this master bait shop. And then, yep, there's a baby ripper just over there. Another one in this room here. And this way over here is where we have to go to progress in the level. But before we do that, secret number four is right behind that wall. Alright. So, bronze and red master keys in hand. Our next goal is to obtain the repair kit to fix that boat. There is no fancy way to get to that silver master key and the exit door. You actually have to use the boat. So we're going to repair the boat to use it for only a few seconds. Yep, that's sounds worth it to me. But before we do all that... Let's take out some bad guys, and get secret number five. So when you first enter this area here, go to the left, a little uh, miniature library here, use the middle bookcase, and go inside for the secret. Ancient Chinese secret. Test your might. Oh, is that a Mortal Kombat reference? Alright. Might tested, and that opens what, in my opinion, should be either a separate secret or the actual secret, a railgun. And next, what we have to do is shoot this gong, or shuriken the gong, which opens this portrait, which grants us access to the repair kit. And that, that just stirred up the hive. Those guys are not at all happy we have that repair kit. So we must take care of them. Now, I'm going to go back the way I came because it's the better way to go. There is going to be another shadow merc waiting for you just outside the bait shop. Um, there you are. And then some various lower level mercs as well. Now there is a stationary one on the opposite side this time. Did that get him? Oh, I did. <laughs> of course, my railgun rod would slice his throat when it should just made him blow up, but nah, whatever. Oh, hey, 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 ow, ow, hey, whoa, whoa. Mr. Grenade Mercenary, that was mean. Made me reload my Uzis. Um, and I think we are ready to go back to the boat. And we can go either way. I'm going to go through the waterlogged area here. Now be careful, because this place is now absolutely chock full with coolie ghosts. But there's also a trio of mercs right over here. I think it's two brown and one orange. Yes, we finally see some orange mercs for a change. This might be the first level they're actually featured in. But we will see them fairly more often going forward. I don't think they're quite as threatening as the orange ninjas were in the previous two iterations. And that's probably mainly because you don't see anywhere near as much of them. And there's our final ghosty friend. And that's it. All enemies dead, all secrets found. I am uh, a little shy on the armor front, which is going to suck for the next map. <laughs> but we'll persevere. And of course the boat has a gun on it too, but if you aim too low, you could blow yourself up, so I just don't use it. I use my real gun ammo. 
for those coolie ghosts. Now, I think what I will do is, before I go to the exit, how many rods do I have? Oh yeah, I need at least one case of rods, if there are any to find. So I'm going to make one quick little lap through the map. And uh, let's see if there's any railgun rods waiting for us. I'm not going to be greedy. Two rods would be ideal, or two cases of rods, rather, would be ideal. But one or the railgun itself will do just fine. Yes, sirree, that's all I ask for is one measly little case of rods or the railgun itself. I, of course, will gather up any ammo I see along the way that I do need, other than railgun rods. Um, how about you little speedboats here? One purple, one red, one blue. Or is that orange? Eh, it's burgundy-ish, I guess. How about in the bronze key area? Come on, railgun rods, don't be embarrassed. Low Wing just wants to add you to his collection. Um, let's see. I'm actually not positive, and if there were, I may have already grabbed them. Nah, I don't think I've fired the railgun that much. Yeah, there's nothing here, nothing here. Okay, bait shop. Bait shop and random house at the end of the bait shop. You gotta, gotta help me out here. Just one case. That's all I want. Now, to be perfectly honest, we won't we <laughs> won't even really be using the railgun in the next level anyway because it's entirely CQB, and of course the railgun projectiles do have a. Oh, there was this one. Yeah, that may have been the only one. Um, the railgun projectiles do have a very minor explosive property to them, so you will hurt yourself. Okay, nope, there's no more. That's fine. I'm sure we'll find some in the next map anyway. We shall make do. Let's just get out of here. So we must sail our way over to this door here. The silver master key door. Jump inside. Or jump on the platform to go inside. And, ooh, a little pumping station, huh? Alright. Well, just don't get squished by the pumps. Activate the whirlpool and jump on in. And then go to your right, I guess. All the way down here. And see, oh. Oh my. Nin Nin Airlines? That's right. We're taken right back to the skies. From a restaurant to a skyscraper to some docks, which didn't make any locational sense uh, in relation to that skyscraper. Back to the skies. Oh boy. I cannot wait. But for now, let's go. And that is the docks, the second secret level of two. And again, as far as aesthetics go, Redwood Forest is definitely better. But as far as navigation goes, minus that one annoying part with the stationary ninjas on, or mercs, I keep saying ninjas, um, on the ship in the marketplace area, which was very quickly dealt with via nuke. This is not a very, um, not a very hard level, not terribly tricky. There are a couple of shadow mercs you gotta keep your eye out for, but other than that, it's fairly simple fare. And I believe this map does indeed debut the orange mercs. I don't think we've seen any orange mercs prior to this map at all. And if you didn't find this secret level, you would still find them in the next map. And, uh, yep, nothing else much to say about this one. Pretty simple fare. Seems kind of funny that you would repair a boat to just use it for all of maybe 5 to 10 seconds, but hey, what are you going to do? Lo Wang has to do what he has to do. And so, yeah. That was the docks, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night. And Lo Wang and myself shall see you next time for when we take back into the very skies themselves. And oh boy, this next map is a doozy. Or at least it can be a doozy. And trust me, you'll see why. But that will be next time. So until then, we will see you all next time. Bye bye.